I think it's time we use the big flying gun. That's what sort of call it. Ah, yes, the A-10. Uh, if only Vlad were here. He'd be screaming. Yeah. He Let's see. Oh, it has low agility. Well, it doesn't matter when you're getting obliterated by a fucking 30 millimeter cannon, doesn't. You know what? That would work. Oh, man, like... I'm sorry turning this into a smash ramp, but Jesus, Nintendo makes me so angry. <laughs> no, it's fine, We dude. noticed. I love Nintendo, but at the same time, God. Oh, that's... Like... that's I was gonna say it's it's the same case with me and Disney. I love Disney. I love some of their work, but come on. Uh, oh. Select parts, select the skin. Uh, and it's not no, just need... their movies; it's their theme parks. Yeah, it's not like just the movies. It's not just the TV shows. It's also their theme parks as well. It's like they, everything. They all look the Disney. same. Yeah, you they all look the exact same. Oh, mm -hmm. Actually, hit preview. Wait, I, wait, wait, I ended up coming across in. You said Sorry. preview. Um, yeah, X. I remember well, reading. I, I, I came across a um, an imp, like someone made a post about how one of the big locations in um, I think it was in the Walt Disney World, where it was basically a museum for Disney's history, got replaced with of all things a fucking Star Wars esque location. Yeah, they all kind of look the same. Haven't they done because enough Dis for Star Wars? I think I'm honestly so tired of Disney just going, "Hey, we're gonna replace all these good locations just to show off the fact we own this brand." It's one of the reasons that, and yes, I'm still very salty about hey, this. Restroom. That they okay, that they got rid of the Tower of Terror at California Adventure because when you think of California Adventure, you think of California locations. The Tower of Terror makes a lot more sense because. Hollywood, and technically a little bit of the mystique of California. But <laughs> Disney just decided, uh, we're gonna replace this with a, uh, Marvel ride. What? But why? Because we wanna show off we have the Marvel brand. Yeah, like, okay, okay congratulations, we don't fucking care. Also, Retro Gamer Kevin, we are definitely on the same page when it comes to Assault Horizon. It's fucking dog shit. Oh yeah, from... I'm hey, still so mad. Because fucking dogfight mode, like, they make it so required. Like, it automatically homes in on the enemies and everything instead of actually spending the effort. Like, it takes the to fun make away. competent dogfights, yeah. Yeah, because oh, you have to circle around all the time to enter the enemies. Welcome to dogfighting! You strategize That's literally what dogfighting is, yeah. Yeah. That's literally really. the whole fucking point. You want to feel like a hero? Uh -oh. You put in the goddamn effort. <laughs> <laughs> Solar, I'm gonna send this to your oh! Discord. Why did I press that? Good question. Oh, no. Oops. Also, actually, um, yeah. someone, Entry someone that God. I was watching, I was watching them play the latest game that just came out on the Switch. Uh, what was it pronounced? How did they pronounce it? Uh, yes. Yes. Live. <laughs> A live. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. Come on, one more, it's, one more. Hang on, let me let me double check before I All right, before fine. I continue butchering it. Because I am definitely, I feel like I'm definitely butchering it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. The one oh, made a Blaze, are you trying to get under our skin? <laughs> Oh, what, what, did they fuck? Is it Shaggy? I bet it's Shaggy. It's Shaggy. I'm it's yeah, always I'm Shaggy. I'm gonna send this one to you, too. Actually, I'm just posting the Phoenix Nights. That makes more sense. It's always gonna be Shaggy, because the internet is very much into the whole Shaggy kicking people's ass thing. But it's Dude, so funny! I'm, I'm so fucking glad Dude. that they actually just fully embraced Ultra Instinct Shaggy. I think that's fucking hilarious. Ultra Instinct yeah. Shaggy. Is that based off of that one particular Scooby-Doo special where he and Scooby were a lot braver than anybody else? Like, they were at some no. kind of golf park or something. I, I think that was actually, like, where it originated from. Like, it wasn't anything, like, official. That's what I'm thinking, but, like, yeah. eventually, was... like, later on, there was, like, there was, like, a fucking film where they had, like, a little, they had, like, a little short towards the very end. Where it had fucking Scorpion, like, come out, and then Shaggy was like, Hey, 
Get over here, man! And oh. he's like glowing ultra instinct as he just fucking like pulls him <laughs> to the Warner Brothers logo. I thought it was based on this, where in that movie scene where Shaggy beat the shit out of a bunch of bikers. Yeah, that, I mean, that, yeah. Like, in that That's scene, he was, that. That, that was like where it originated. That's like where the meme originated, but it wasn't like officially Ultra Instinct Shaggy yeah. because like the context is that he was being hypnotized. I, I think another another um, another reason why the whole powerful Shaggy meme came to be was because apparently someone was watching the behind the scenes of the 2002 Scooby Doo movie. And for some apparent reason, everybody was talking about Shaggy like if he was a real character and that he was truly someone they couldn't mess with. Oh, yes, like, so they were talking about, like, the fucking Matt Lillard version of Shaggy? <laughs> something like that. And I guess they kind of I, I just... fucking... I remember seeing that one, too, where it was just like, oh, yeah, people are wondering how we filmed all these stunts with Shaggy. As it turns out, he could already do these things. He was just using 12% of his actual power. <laughs> <laughs> he said, who... I remember Holy that there was even shit. a sponsor that we said, said I needed 12%. Alright, let's shit. go for the biggest chunk of targets here. Holy hell. I do like the uh, fact that Matthew Lunar did embrace the meme, too, for a while. I mean, can you blame yeah. him? Sometimes, if you're given the role that it's just odd, just go all out with a bang. It is kind of sad, though, that when he heard that they were doing a Scooby-Doo... Like, I guess they were doing another Scooby-Doo movie. Oh, yeah, they were doing Scoob. They didn't get him for the role, and he was pretty bummed out about that, because they didn't tell him in advance. They were just like, oh yeah, yeah. We, we're doing the movie without, but without you. He's like, oh, that sucks. That kind of reminds me of how, like, when the Animaniacs was brought back, apparently the original creator was completely left behind. Ow! Jesus! Uh. Haul ass, haul ass. Jesus. Run away. A guy on my tail. Sometimes it, I guess it happens either because they just don't have the money or because they just literally forgot. Alright. Let's see. Ah, damn it! Come on! Plane. Wait, there's another one? <sighs> Didn't notice that. I heard a yawn. Yes, you did, because I've been awake since 4 a.m. I Go know that to feeling. bed! I'm okay. Yeah, See, I've gym. learned he to... Works, uh, he works his job for, like, a 5 a.m. shift, so... I've Jesus. learned the uh, optimal strategy of uh, just learning to take a siesta at, like, fucking... at, like, fucking 4 in the afternoon. So that I can stay up for the night and then just go to sleep and only need to get like four hours before I'm good. <laughs> no I right. I kind of do that. I kind of do feel, that too. I feel like a I, I feel like a fucking dad every time I do that shit though. It'll be like ah oh, yeah it's Whoa. fucking five thirty. I'll go I'll I'll go and take a fucking nap, and then I'll wake up I at think... like fucking eight no. when everybody else is starting oh. to get online. It's like all right yeah now I got enough time to hang out and I'm not gonna fucking die. Oh, thank God! What? what? Um, sorry, it's because um, I was checking today the whole jury duty thing because they have been bugging me for almost the entire month, and they just finally said, okay, you don't have to go to jury duty. Oh, I, know I mean, jury feeling. duty is really not a fucking big deal. Because, like, I, mean, I remember, like, it was just like, oh, when I went to jury duty, it was literally just like, okay, so show up at the courthouse at this time, fucking dress nice, whatever. Dressed up, I sat there for, like, a couple hours while they were just like, okay, so how are we gonna, so, like, we're gonna decide which of you are actually gonna go, like, onto the trial, yada, 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 and then they just skipped over me, and I was like, alright, cool. Yeah, they kind of did that with me, too, because, like, they did ask me to go in in 2016, I think? But that was about it. And then they did ask me to go back around 20. Oh, motherfucker. Hey, yeah, those motherfuckers gave me a whole $6 for showing up that day. <laughs> nice. Man, you could have bought yourself a cheeseburger. I could, I could get like, you know what I could get with $6? I could get like four Cokes from a gas station. Like 30 there you go. Hours. Why get four <laughs> Cokes from a gas station when you can get a delicious Sprite from McDonald's? I mean, yeah, that's that a good is point. True. 
I could probably get like cheaper. fucking eight of them motherfuckers. I'm still awaiting for McDonald's to finally bring back the chicken tenders already. I'm still fuming about Smash. I'm not gonna lie. It happens. That's why everybody's playing multiverses now. Ah, it's Jesus. so true. And not, there was also that uh, Nickelodeon Smash like game. So the problem that, was, it took them a fucking year just to put in voice acting. Nobody's like, playing fucking All Star Brawl nowadays. I went Nobody. back. Like, I was. I went back to play multiverses after I played a few games of multi. Uh, not multiverse. I played a few games of All Stars after playing multiverses, and the game just feels unfinished. What? It is. It was. A, it was made as a fucking cash grab. I think they and then they were just like, oh, wait, people aren't going to play this unless we put actual effort into it. Yeah, really. Hey, maybe we should put, like, voice lines and, like, the ability to use items into it. Again, multiverses is in... How many punishments does this guy take? I've launched, like, five <laughs> missiles on the son of a bitch. Sorry. No, you're Again, fine. multiverses is completely free and has both of those things from the get-go, and it's also still in beta, so it's not even technically a full release. Ah, yeah. You know what the sad thing about All-Stars versus Smash Ultimate? What? Mm -hmm. Nick All-Stars has a robot netcode and a better training room than Smash Ultimate does. I do not have the best fucking claim for combat. Because Nick All-Stars shows frame happen. data and hitbox sizes. Smash Ultimate, you can't do that. And also Is robot it... netcode. Okay, in regards to, um... To multiverses. I don't have a controller for the game, so would it still be? I mean, would it still you can be? play on a keyboard, ah, but it's Jesus. It, it's honestly just way easier to play controller. Fair also, you better hope you don't get fucking tickled. <laughs> LeBron slams into July twenty sixth. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Nah, dude, fucking, I was playing and my buddy was playing. LeBron and Iron Giant is actually a pretty ah! fucking mean combo. <laughs> Double J. Because Double J's funny as fuck. Because LeBron can, like, pass the basketball to other people, and when he does that, like, the person he got it passed to can, like, throw it back, or he can throw it at somebody else, and when he does that, the, uh, the ball does more damage. Thing is, because the Iron Giant is so fucking huge, it's almost impossible to not hit him when LeBron passes the ball. I'm gonna note that, I know that some oh, people are gonna be like, well are gonna be like, why would you use the Iron Giant to fight him? He's not a gun, but at the same time, who would He gets to team up with Superman, so who gives a fuck? It's like, who would Just because how we're... And also, like, I, I, I hate the notion that people are just like, oh, well, the Iron Giant is clearly a pacifist. That's not the case. He's trying to fucking emulate Superman. Superman beats ass on a daily fucking basis. Yeah, really. You're telling me that if there was a fucking threat to Earth that the Iron Giant could reasonably defend against, he wouldn't fight because he's not a gun? No, that's fucking retarded. I mean, for fuck's sake. If the Iron Giant realized, oh, fuck, this person is going to destroy the fucking Earth, I gotta do something. He's not just going to sit there with his thumbs jammed up his ass because, oh, another gun. No, yeah, he, he's gonna beat some feet. fucking ass to try and protect the people that he cares about. Yeah, it's, really. It's that fucking simple. He gave his Are... life destroying himself to stop a nuclear missile. There it is, yeah. The only so... reason he ended up becoming a gun was because he ended up literally going back to his programming ah, when he fuck. thought... Uh, when there he is thought... a reference yeah. to that in Multiverses, actually. Yeah, and like, really? by the way, like, even when they have the fucking rage mode in multiverses, it doesn't even, like, say, like, oh, press Y to get angry. It literally says, press Y to protect your friends. Yeah. And if that's not the off. Iron Giant in a fucking nutshell, then I don't know what the fuck is. Like, I mean, the Iron Giant is literally Superman, just robotic in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, he I wish Iron Giant gained the powers to sneeze the universe. <laughs> also, be, remind no. me he doesn't have a nose. It'd be funny. What? Are you saying it wouldn't be funny? I mean, probably. Also, reminder: the Iron Giant was voiced by Vin Diesel, which just makes it kind of amusing. I am Groot. It, it's that's. I still find that also amusing. The fact that in the move in Gal in Guardians of the Galaxy, all he says is "I am Groot." It's family. No, that's Vin Diesel. <laughs> Hey, who plays Groot? That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I know him. Um... 
I know they talked know. about adding uh, Harry and Ron into multiverses. I don't know if they're going to actually do it or not. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus! <sighs> but no, 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 no. I'm surprised, honestly, that Scooby isn't in multiverses. Yeah, I but thought she... that, too. I mean, he and Shaggy would be and would probably be together in multiverses, but they just put Shaggy. I mean, again, yeah, not saying that's a bad thing, but the two of them are a duo. So. I think the problem is, if they put Scooby in with Shaggy as, like, a tag team thing, they couldn't fully embrace the Shaggy meme, so they just kind of put him as a yeah. solo. Probably. Fuck! So here's I... also something I found really funny in Multiverses. They data mined the weight classes in there, and before the nerf, Velma was one of the, the fo top five heaviest characters in the game. Oh my god. <laughs> and, but yet she was heavier than Batman. Oh my god. I also came up with a very, um, kind of a controversial idea, but I feel it could work because they did a similar thing with another character in Smash. Take Scrappy-Doo, but do the fucking duck hunt situation. Where Thanks. you make him a badass, but you can still beat him, but still beat his nope. ass because you hated ah, him. Or, shit. you take Scrappy-Doo, dig a hole... <laughs> and you bury him in it, and yeah. you never let him out, ever. Uh, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, James Gunn did that with the Scooby Doo twenty two uh, two thousand two movie. No, I'm not even kidding by that too. James Gunn flat out said, "I did the Scooby Doo movie to literally destroy Scrappy." That's so funny. He did later Sorry. on admit it. He kind His of sacrifice was not in vain. He did later on admit he regretted the decision because he did realize, "Oh shit, Scrappy has fans." But he does. But he oh no! Work. All five Scrappy fans were really rebelling when James Gunn fucking shit on him. They're all <laughs> the size of Scrappy. <laughs> it's kind of funny because in the Scooby Apocalypse thing, they actually kind of made him a badass. They made him a big hulking like douchebag. That's the thing, though. They could have made Scrappy a really good character in that movie, but he just chose not to, and just to fuck his reputation. Yeah. That's why I think that if they were nope. to do that for multiverses, it'd be kind of amusing. Because you could make him a badass character, but you could still get people to kick his ass because they hate Scrappy so much. That's Again, what they did with Steven Scrappy. Universe. Oh, fuck! Similar Dude, to Dark Hunt, because everyone I'm a Steven main, and I'm, my Steven's cracked. Literally, like, my fucking friends that I've been playing with whenever we're doing, like, fucking, like, just custom games or whatever... Or like we only have three people and we can't get a fourth. We'll always just set the bot to Steven and everybody just beats up Steven. <laughs> no, I'm kind of imagining that's everybody going, that's for Steven Universe future, you twit. Cause I know a lot of people were very polarized with Steven Universe future. Dude, a lot you know of people they should... are very polarized with Steven Universe in general. That I, like, yeah. I like Steven U, but that's just my opinion. But, um. Same. You know who they could add in multiverses? That'd be really cool, in my opinion. Who? Hmm. There's two. Any character from Shaolin Showdown or Static Ooh. Shock. Oh, shit! Dude! I would love to see what fucking the fuck? Static Shock characters. Dude, imagine Static Shock just coming in and zapping the fuck out of people. No, no, That'd be Static Shock and Gear. It'd be wonderful. I would, I would. That would give me the excuse to play the game because of Static Shock. What? Static what Shock. is literally? What is your excuse for not playing it? It is literally free. It costs no money to get into. Exactly. Is it? For, do they have it for the Switch? Uh, nope. It's on Steam. Then there you go. Yeah, I just downloaded it on Steam. The Steam, Pathetic. the Switch probably couldn't even run it. I'm just gonna download it. Sure, I don't, I don't have a controller, but I'm gonna just. Download it regardless. You can Dad, get a Logitech can... controller at most electronic places. You yeah, can you can literally just buy an Xbox controller and plug it in. Yeah, you can be like yeah. A, most Xbox off brand controllers are like twenty bucks at like a Walmart or some shit. Oh yeah, fair noted. Fair I actually think you can use a pro if you have a Switch Pro controller. It uses that too, I believe. Yeah, I don't have that. But I will think about buying a controller. It will probably make playing games on my computer a lot more easier. But I know the Switch has trouble running like half the games in its own library. It, I highly doubt it could run multiverses. Yeah. Really, it's a miracle that Breath of the Wild runs as well as it does. I said the same shit. 
I think the Wii U actually ran it better on the fucking uh, Switch because they did a testing on it. But probably the load times in uh, Breath of the Wild were faster on the Wii U than it was on the Switch. Oh, oh! I really need to fucking buy this game, even though I've already seen the Let's Play of it. <laughs> uh, Night in the Woods. Night in the Woods! A game I do want to play, actually, is Stray. I've heard really good things about I've that game. Stray's apparently gotten a good reputation. Stray, apparently they call it yeah. Cyberpunk, both cats. I mean, it, that's literally what it is. It's literally Cyberpunk, <laughs> but with a cat. That's so funny. I literally I mean, have to take on this guy. Yeah. I think I just find yeah. the fact... I think at this point, people have just started embracing the idea of just having a game where you play as an animal. Not furry yeah. animal, but like a literal animal. Yeah.